Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about automatic sanitization. So let's look at the example first. Automatic sanitization. The sanitization process should run for 10 seconds when the door is used four times. So there is an unlock button to unlock the door. So when unlock button is pressed four times, then the sanitization process will start for 10 seconds. So for this example, we will be using normally open contacts, normally closed contacts, implementing latching and uh, some timers like TP. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. This is the interface of TI portal. Firstly, we'll go to PLC tags and default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So the first input is unlock button and then we have one output that is sanitization that will be a nozzle that will do the sanitization of the door. So this is an output so its address will be like Q0.0. So we have only two inputs and uh, outputs. So now we need to go to program blocks and double click on main OB1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. So I will zoom into it. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and a coil. This normally open contact will represent the start button or the unlock button. And then this coil will represent a memory bit. So it's, it, will, it will be M0.0. So now we need to latch it here. I will assign address to it as same as this M0.0. After that, when unlock button is pressed and release, M0.0 gets through and when M0.0 gets through, another memory bit gets on. So this will be M0.0 and with that, when unlock button is pressed, uh, is released. So this will be unlock button. So when it is released, then another memory bit gets through and we will latch it here. So I'll open the, uh, sorry. I will open the branch, add a normally open contact and connect it like this. So this will be M0.1. And then, so this M0.0 is a memory bit that is storing the data that unlock button is being released. This M0.0 stores the data that it is being pressed and this M0.1 stores the data that unlock button is being released. And then when it is being released, so M0.1 gets through and then again when unlock button is when unlock button is again pressed. So another another uh, memory bit gets through. So this will be M0.2 and we will latch it here. I will connect it like this. And this will be M0.2. So this M0.2 stores the data that uh, the unlock button is being pressed second time and then I will insert a normally open contact that represent this M0.3 M0.3 Sorry, this is M0.2 M0.2 when it is uh, uh, gets through and unlock button is released so we'll use a normally close contact for unlock button and another coil, another memory bit gets on. So this M0.3 stores the data that unlock button is being released second time. So I will uh, open the branch, add a normally open contact and latch it like this. So the address for this normally open contact will be M0.3. So when M0.3 gets through, that means when the push button is being released second time when it gets true and unlock button is being pressed third time. So this will be unlock button third time. Then one more memory bit gets through. This is M0.4 
and when it gets true, we will latch it here. So I will open the branch, add a normally open contact and connect it like this. So this will be M0.4. And then when this M0.4 gets true, when it gets true is when the unlock button is being pressed third time. So M0.4 gets true when the unlock button is being pressed third time and when it is released. So this will be unlock button. When it is released, another memory bit gets true, another coil for a memory bit M0.5. When it gets true, then we will latch it here. At the normally open contact, connect it like this. So this will be M0.5. And then when M0.5 is uh, activated is true when it is activated it's activated when unlock button is being pressed third time and released so this is pressed released pressed released and then pressed and now it is being released here you can see pressed M0.1 stores it is being released M0.2 stores it is being pressed second time and it is being released second time it is being pressed third time and it is being released third time and then when M0.5 gets through and unlock button is pressed four time so this is unlock button when it is being pressed four time then one more memory bit gets through this is M0.6 and when it gets through it is storing the data that unlock button is pressed four times. So this will be M0.6. And then so the uh, the unlock button is being pressed four times. That means door has been opened four times. Then we will use normally open contacts like M0.0, M0.0. Then M0.2 second time, then M0.4 third time, and then one more normally open contact, or simply we can use only one contact. That is M0.6. When it gets through, then the sanitization process will start. And this will be sanitization. And the sanitization process will uh, go on for only 10 seconds so for that we will use a timer operation tp and the preset value will be 10 seconds so now i will start simulation Click on load and then finish. After that, I will start the CPU and then start monitoring. After that, I will switch to the project view. Let's create a new project here. Click on create. After that, I will go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. Right click here and click on load project tax. As you can see here, when unlock button is being pressed first time, this M0.0 gets through and 
when it is released, this M0.1 gets true. And when it is being pressed third, uh, sorry, second time, this M0.2 gets true. And when it is being released second time, this M0.3 gets true. So the door has been uh, opened two times. Then again, when it is pressed third time, the M0.4 gets through and when it is being released third time, this M0.5 gets through. And when it is being pressed four time, that means the sanitization process will start. This M0.6 gets through when the unlock button is being pressed four time. That means the door has been opened four time and the sanitization process has started. It has sanitized the door. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.